Hey folks, Tornado Twins here and this might be one of the most exciting videos in this series so far because I'm finally going to show you what many have asked for and that is how do we add textures and image effects in Unity 3D? How do we make our games look awesome? Okay, now I have a little wall here and so let's just start simple and use this wall to start and add some texture or materials to it. Now, first thing I do is right click into the project panel and say create and then a material. Now let's rename this material and call it bamboo. And as you can see here into the material I have a texture slot and it needs to have a bamboo picture in there to work. Now if you're an indie developer or a student then um, I'm going to show you a tool right now that helps you make textures and this tool is so extremely powerful that I find myself that when I'm making games I'm using this every day and the filter is called uh, filter forge now this application is a standalone application but it also comes as a plugin for Photoshop it's the same thing so if you only want to do this and affect some layers in Photoshop you can do that if you want to just make pictures that as as I'm doing right now then uh, that works just great now this plugin comes with hundreds and hundreds of uh, presets and for example I can click animal fur and then in a couple seconds it starts generating animal fur in this case something that looks like a tiger and I can use all these sliders over here to change the fur length or the colors of the hair and that sort of thing now if I want to do something that for example has to do with a building then I can say well I want some uh, floor tiles then it can do that right there. I can change the color to something more lighter or darker and it starts generating it right from there. Now in this case we want to have some bamboo so uh, let me find the bamboo back here and it starts generating the bamboo for us. Now if I want to change things like the amount of vertical bamboos or the, the width or height of the joints I can do that but let me just change the color and make it just a little darker here and that's fine for me so that's what I will use now let me save this image and save it as a PNG to the desktop and call it bamboo alright save that then now I can go back into unity 3d and then drag the bamboo inside of my project folder it will import it, it takes a, just a second and uh, it will import it just fine now let me open my materials again and in this slot I need to drag a bamboo texture so let me drag the texture that we just made right on top of it and as you can see I now have a bamboo texture now since this wall is stretched and squashed a little bit as soon as I drop the material on top of it you can see it's a little big it's not exactly what we want so let me go back into this material and change the tiling to for example 4 or something like that or 3.5 and I can change the height as well to say for example 2 now as you can see right now there's a problem do you see this line here it means the texture is not tiling right it means that the edges are not the same now luckily filter forge can solve just that for us in a couple clicks so I just scroll down here and check the box seamless tiling and now it will regenerate the bamboo as you can see happening here and it will show us what it's like when it's tiled and as you can see it is now perfect so let me save this image again and call it bamboo 2 go back into unity and then drag the bamboo into unity 3d and it will do the same thing, it will import it. Now let me go back into my material and instead of using that texture I'm using the other one just by dropping it in and as you can see our problems are fixed. Now our bamboo is looking nice but not great. I mean it looks a little dark and whatnot. so uh, maybe there's something we can do to actually make it reflect light. Now yes we can. We can right click this texture and say um, duplicate. Hold on, let's do that from the edit menu and then duplicate and it will create another one for us, Bamboo 3. Now as I select Bamboo 3 
I can um, make Unity create a bump map off of it. So hit generate bump map and then click apply. Let me change the bumpiness to a little higher than this. And as you can see, it creates this texture with this weird bluish color. And this is called a normal map. I have no clue why Unity calls it a bump map, but it is a normal map. So now I can go back into my material, change the shader from diffuse to bumped diffuse. And as you can see, it adds another texture slot. Now I can drag Bamboo 2 right on top of this and change the tiling to the same as the other one, 3.5 and 2. And you might think, well, it doesn't look like much, much happened. But watch what happens when I start dragging a light source right in front of it. Let me zoom the camera in here just a tad. As you can see, the light from the bamboo is reflected into the camera as if the bamboo were actually 3D. It's not 3D, it is just a texture, but it gives you the illusion of 3D which makes your game look like very high quality graphics. Extremely awesome. Now if you're thinking, okay, um, I don't want to have Unity generate my normal maps, how can I do this? Well, FilterForge actually can do it itself. Just go up top and say filter and then choose your render map. There's bump maps, normal maps, specular maps, everything. So for example, let me click normal map right now and you can see it generates that same normal map that we want. Also, if you want to change the lighting angles on this, you can go to lighting, add a new light, and then change the way it looks. Look what it does with the bamboo. It's absolutely awesome. Now, I've contacted the people from FilterForge and asked them if we could do something for the people that are watching this YouTube channel. And they currently have a 50% off sale. And this plugin is only $200, which might seem like a lot of money. But um, with the 6,000 plugins that come with it, and you can even change those plugins. Let me show you that really quick. As you can see, this is the bamboo and how it is generated. I can change things by grabbing things and moving them around to change the way the plugin works and actually make my own plugin out of it. So it's an extremely powerful tool and now that it's 50% off, it's only about a hundred or something bucks. And I'll tell you right now, this is worth every penny I use it every day. So if you want it, there is a 50% off. Just click the link in the info section and on my blog, I'll tell you how to get the, um, the price cut. If you're not interested, you know, it's fine. But this is in my history of game design and uh, it's been about 10 years or so now. The only tool that I've found to be so extremely powerful so that it can create tiling textures that I just wanted to recommend it for you. Alright, so that's all for now with the textures. Next week we're going to get into um, adding some more stuff and we're also working on some 3D models. For example, uh, this worm right here is what we made with a couple of you guys on YouTube. And this will be our new player as we start adding art to our Worminator game here. So uh, stay tuned for next week and um, continue making awesome games.